problem number 47, we'd like to find the derivative of the function g of x equals x over e to the 3x. Okay, so first and foremost, what I see when I look at this problem is I have a quotient. Okay, I have a function on the top and I have a function on the bottom, which is a quotient, so we need to use the quotient rule. Okay, so if we're going to use the quotient rule for this thing, then we're going to say g prime of x is equal to, and when I use the quotient rule, we'll remember that the first thing we write down is we always just write down whatever it is that's on the bottom, and we leave it alone. So let's write down what's on the bottom, which is e to the 3x left alone. Then we multiply that by the derivative of what's on the top. And the derivative of what's on the top is 1. So we multiply by 1. Minus what's on top, which is x, times the derivative of what's on the bottom. Now, the derivative of e to something times x, like if f of x is equal to e to the ax, then f prime of x is equal to, well, the a just gets written out in front, and then you still have e to the ax. So you just get an extra factor of a coming out in front. Okay. Notice that if a is 1, then the derivative of e to the x is 1 e to the x, which is perfect. And so it even works when a is 1. Okay, but in this case, we have that a is 3. So what's the derivative of e to the 3x? It would be 3e to the 3x. So we get 3e to the 3x. All divided by the bottom, which is e to the 3x quantity squared. Now, uh, we could simplify this a little bit if we wanted to. We could write this as g prime of x is equal to, uh, this is e to the 3x minus x e, uh, sorry, not minus x e, it's minus 3 x e to the 3x, all divided by e to the 6x, because this is e to the 3x times e to the 3x, which is e to the 6x. So this is our derivative.